What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Row. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like a video if you appreciate the content that Poe Row and What's the Numbers I provided. Today, we're back with a profile piece. This one is on Mac P Dog. In this video, we're going to take a look at his early years growing up in Los Angeles, California. Then we will speak about his interest in music that will lead into him becoming a rapper that was affiliated with the popular group Shoreline Mafia. And after that, we'll focus on the details surrounding the shooting that will end his life at such a young age. Mac P. Dog, real name Joshua Andrade Galvez, is from the Virgil Village section of East Hollywood. Growing up in that area of Los Angeles would be different from Mac P. Dog, as he was around the bright lights of show business from an early age. Although that area of Hollywood Mac was from can be a little sketchy sometimes, it's still safer than living in South Central somewhere. Mac, who was of Hispanic descent, always hung out with the older crowd and was a decent student, grade-wise and behavior-wise, up until high school. Once he entered the ninth grade at Marshall High in LA, Mac in his own words just started doing dumb shit, like stealing out of stores and robbing people. Also around the same time, Mac became friends with a junior in his school named Phoenix Flexen, who will become one of the main members of the rap group Shoreline Mafia. Phoenix then introduced Mac to the other member of the group, OGZ, who used to hang out more towards the West Hollywood side of the city. From the moment they met, they all gravitated towards each other and began building one of the strongest movements LA has seen in years. Fresh out of high school, the trio worked at a movie theater with just Phoenix and OGZ rapping on the side. But eventually they all would quit, with Phoenix and OGZ focusing on their rap careers, while Mac decided to hit the block to make some money. The money Mac started making by hustling wasn't too much, but it was stable and helped him take care of his mother. Eventually, Mac realized hustling legal narcotics wasn't something he could do forever and started to look for a different way he could earn some money to take care of his family. His friends Phoenix and OGZ were blowing up on the LA hip hop scene at the time as the group Shoreline Mafia and Mac was a regular in their entourage. Over time, Mac would get bit by the rapper bug himself and would drop songs with both Phoenix and OGZ. The two songs along with the videos would basically put him in the game overnight because of the energy and popularity Shoreline was building at the time. The songs gained traction as regional hits and earned Mac P. Dog an opening slot on Shoreline Mafia's OTX tour. Once Mac hit the stage and heard fans singing along every word, he realized that music was his calling. From there, he'll release a few more videos for songs like Go Getter, Same Kid, and Saw Shaker as he was gearing up to drop his own first official project. Mac was also receiving some help behind the scenes with his career from TK and Picasso at R. Baron Management. The two who at the time were managing a lot of different acts in the LA music scene had more faith in Mac and his music than he had in himself in the early stages. But once Mac seen things starting to work out with the help of TK and Picasso, he decided to start taking rap serious as he enjoyed being in the studio making music anyway. But sadly, before Mac Pedor could take his rap career to the next level, he was shot and killed in a career town neighborhood of Los Angeles while accompanied by a woman who was also shot and injured, although she survived. His death came just as Shoreline Mafia was breaking up and signaled the end of a special era in LA music history. Mac P. Dog was only 24 years old at the time of his death. But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV. This is a quick profile piece on Mac P. Dog, you know, affiliated with the Shoreline Mafia. You know, that Shoreline Mafia era was a special era in um, L.A. music. You know what I'm saying? They had Draco. They had the Sting Team. You know what I'm saying? They had um, OG Greedo, Frosty. They had a lot of things going on out there. And, you know, so a lot of things ain't really work out. You know, some dudes ended up in jail. Some ended up passing away. Um, certain Shoreline broke up as far as, like, you know, OGZ and Phoenix. So, but that, but, it, but when it was popping, when it was jumping off, when it was moving, it was a, it was a, it was a serious time out there. In um, L.A. as far as like that music scene, you know what I'm saying? That like independent, that sound they had, you know, it was, it was, it was doing, they was doing their thing for a minute, man. So, we all had got major deals as far as like Shoreline signed a deal, you know, um, Draco and them, they didn't sign a deal, but they was doing, it was booming, you know what I'm saying? Greedo was doing his thing. Like, it was a lot going on at that time, you know what I'm saying? And Mac P-Dog was a part of that, so shout out to him, you know, for being a part of history. Now, he didn't have that much material out. But a lot of people spoke highly of him, you know what I'm saying? And the songs he did have out, people took to. The views was good. I think he dropped. A, I think they dropped a couple of little music on for him after he passed away. But I don't think he had like a lot of a big catalog himself. You know what I'm saying? It looked like he was still you know, tapping into who he was going to be as an artist. 
Now, it looked like he was still somewhat in the streets. You understand what I'm saying? He was a young kid, 24 years old. I'm sure he was doing what he was doing. And uh, they're trying to say that might have been one of the reasons that cost him his life. There's also rumors of little things that, like, rumors of robbery. Like I said, I don't really put the rumors into the actual video. I'll I'll touch on the rumors after, which is, like, they're trying to say it was a lean, something with some lean that's down the third or shoreline got into it, and he is just a casualty. I don't know for sure. Although there was some people clout chasing after as far as, like, getting on the Internet saying it has something to do with it. You go look it up on YouTube or whatever. Now, I doubt that was the case. It might have just been a cloud chase move. But after his death, there was little rumblings about who had their hand in it, this, that, and the third. But from my understanding right now, nobody's been arrested for the murder of Mac P. Dog. You know what I'm saying? So he was 24 years old. He lost his life. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to him. And I don't want to ramble too long on that, man. This is that profile piece on uh, Mac P. Dog out of the Shoreline Mafia. You know what I'm saying? Now, moving right along, I want to touch on real quick. Go follow the Instagram, subscribe to the channel. We're about to hit 80,000 subscribers. Go follow on Instagram. We're over 1,000, trying to hit 2,000. Also, if you need some promo, get at me on the promo. We got a lot of things coming up, coming into this fall, October, November, December, moving forward into the winter, man. So make sure y'all tap in on What's the Numbers TV. Also, tap into the live streams, 8.30, 9 o'clock. Usually on weekdays, we usually go live. So make sure y'all check into that. Become a member of the channel. You can always go back and see all the old live streams that you missed. And uh, that's all I got for y'all right now, man. If you need some business from promo, get at me. What's the numbers TV at yahoo.com. And I'll be back before you know it, man. We out of here. Peace.